Well, hello everyone and welcome to day 24 of Vlogmas 2023. Can you believe tomorrow is Christmas Day? I'm Deb and this is DB Designs and Sewing Australia. I have got one present left to open in my uh, Dahlia Society Advent Calendar. This is a big present. But first of all, I have finished my Vogue dress completely finished. I will start to insert photos. I'm really happy with how the pleats are hanging and how even they are in the bottom front length. I'm assuming they are at the back. They look like it when they're it's on the coat hanger, but I can't see the back, so I don't care. Um, but really, really happy with the outcome of the dress. Although I must say, it must depend what bra and petticoat or slip I've got on as to how it fits in the bust. Different bra on today, different slip on today and the slip is much firmer in the bust and so it's making, to me, it's making it look a little bit bigger on there. Surely I could not have lost weight between yesterday and today with all the chocolates I ate. So I'm just thinking it's bra and petticoat that you've got on that changes that. But very, very happy with it. Really thrilled to bits. If you remember, this was the pattern. Actually, she's got it on with a belt. Hmm. I am, I'm going to wear it without a belt, but what I am gonna do, and I've got fabric left, is I am going to get some belt kits because if you don't have them in your stash, you know, you need them and you think, how can I alter this dress? I just need a belt. Then I'll have some belt kits that I can use. So by belt kit, I mean the ones with the self-covering buckle. So it won't have any silver buckle or anything like that. It will be all made of the fabric. So, and then you can either choose to wear it or not wear it but I am going to get one of those because I want to get some wear out of this dress. I sp spent a lot of time doing a slow sew on it and I think the slow sew has really paid off with regard to those pleats in the front and the pleat hem in the front. Um, I just did do a, I think people call it a rolled hem, but it's not a rolled hem because a rolled hem you do on your overlocker. I just evened it off turned up the a tiny bit so it was even all the way around stitched that trimmed it in with the with fabulous duck bill scissors and then turned it up again and it gives you a very fine um edge yeah so it gives you a very fine hem like that and on the other side it's like that so often the sort of edges you'll find on a nice scarf um Oh, and the lining, I just overlocked that off with a three thread. So very, very happy indeed with that. And we would recommend the pattern, but I would not be cutting that section out of the pleats. I would have my pleats going all the way up to the top. I think it's much easier to control them. Uh, personally, happy with the um, invisible zip because invisible zips can be a bit of an issue in very fine fabric, but really, really happy with it. You cannot see that it's a zip in there. The idea of it being an invisible zip. So did a fair bit of hand stitching on the inside just to tack things down. I just find the hand stitching much easier because you can manipulate everything when you hand stitch. And you can make one side, you know, fit where it may not fit or it will stretch out when you're machining it. So, and I didn't really want to put my walking foot on. So that's the Vogue 9167. Very happy with that dress. I will be wearing it to my sister's place for Christmas Day tomorrow. The weather today is meh, iffy. It's probably going to be 22 or something like that. So, okay. 
we do have to go to the shops. Well, I have to go to the shops, so I have to talk my husband into coming to, maybe he could drive, because if he can't get a park, he could just drop me off. But we shall see. Present number 12, Day of the Society Advent Calendar. better put my glasses on so I can see what it is class A so much better premium value it's a machine needle holder look at that to hold your packets of machine needles wow what have we got Universals, embroidery, sharps, jeans. Oh, I like their needles. They've got a whole blue top on them jeans needles. Ballpoint, stretch. Oh, look, and their stretch ones have got pink tops on them. Metallic, which you've got a gold top on them. Leather, which has got a rose gold top on it. A 1.6 millimeter twin needle and a two millimeter twin needle. How great are that? How great is that? That is fabulous, Kristen. So they all go in there. I have to try and get them all back in, but that is a fabulous gift. Really fabulous. Oh, yes, and they all just slot back in like that. It's got a little stepped section where they all sit. Because at the moment, I honestly just have mine shoved in a drawer. And when I've got ones that are all similar, say all universal, I have a um, elastic band around them. The ones I've used, I have in a cushion, not this cushion, but in another, well, let's call it a chart that I made, but this will be very, very handy um, when I leave the house. So I really would like to take used machine needles some of the time. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and the universals go from 60s to 120s, which is really, really good. Sometimes it's quite hard to find the very, very fine needles. I think with this dress, I sewed it with, I think I sewed it with an 80. Uh, but what I must say is that when I sew with less than an 80, my automatic, um, my needle threader on my machine doesn't work. You actually have to thread it by hand uh, through the eye of the needle because the little hook that pops through the needle to grab onto the thread doesn't go through the needle. And I don't try and force it through because then you're probably bending the needle, especially on a fine needle. So... I sometimes do it by hand when I can get it in. Good lighting is always very, very helpful and good glasses. So the only other thing I've got to sew today is I've got a pair of my dad's long johns, which he wears in summer as well, because he's always really, really cold. And they have a cuff on them, but the, the stitching on the cuff is really, tight I'll show it to you so these are his long johns and they're actually bonds ones but you can see here well when you stretch it this bit doesn't stretch and he doesn't like it I mean he's very very thin when you're 95 I think you are thin um, and he's quite short and these will be size small or extra small yeah, size small, small men's. Um, and so I've just been cutting the cuff off 
and overlocking around it. You can't see it, so I will change to, I'll change to some gray thread in my overlocker for that. So I've got to take those cuffs off, that'll only take five minutes. And then I've got a pair of my sister's pants because she is so, so short. And I just need to cut them off and hem them for her. And I'm going to her place tomorrow, so I want to get that done and take it. Oh, and then I've got three dog toys to two to repair and one to sew. It's middle up. Must be one that has some heartbeat sort of a thing in it, but they take that out. Otherwise, the dogs try to rip it open and get it out. Anybody who knows, and I, when my dog was alive, I used to say to him, because he'd have toys with squeakers and he'd be trying to rip the squeaker out, I said, if you cough and squeak, you are not going to the vet because you need to stop ripping those squeakers out. But I believe everybody's dog tries to rip the squeakers out of their toys. But anyway, that's enough for me. I would like to thank everybody that has followed me this year, subscribed to me. I've had a few coffees from people. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. And everybody have a wonderful Christmas and a fabulous new year. Onward and upwards for 2024. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Please continue to do so and I will talk to you all after Christmas. Not sure if that will be in the new year or slightly before that. Depends how much I get done. I need to seriously clean my sewing room. It is trashed. Thank you for this fabulous gift, Kristen. It is lovely. It is really, really good. And all those machine needles that I was thinking that I was going to need to buy. So when I look in my drawer, some of the packets have only got one in them. And they might be all like a 14. Which maybe I don't use that as often as I use a 12 or a 10. So, um, yes, very, very handy indeed. Thank you all. And everybody have a fabulous Christmas. Talk to you all soon. Bye.